Here we go. Is it filming? I don't know. I, you know I'm not technologically able. I just like swallowed weirdly, so I'm guessing I'm aware that I'm on camera. <laughs> Say, no. <laughs> you know when they say, uh, if you're ever uncomfortable at a at a speech when you're doing a speech, make uh, try and imagine everyone naked. It's like the opposite of that. I feel Just powerful. To be naked. I feel powerful knowing I'm naked. No, I'm not pretending though. Um, yeah. I'm pretending to be both. Anyway, tangent as always. <laughs> Hi, my name is Staz, and this is a Spirit Vehicles partner. Yes. Um, my name is Staz. Um, Hi, Staz. I am engaged to this lovely little. The vessel of truth here, um, and she has asked me to get involved with this and talk about plastic surgery. Yes. What are your thoughts on that, my angel pie? I have such an opinion on this. Do you? I do. And I have not had any plastic surgery. I've not had anything done. I wear coloured contact lenses. My opinion about plastic surgery is literally, if you want to get plastic surgery, go and get fucking plastic surgery and do it. If it makes you happy, god damn well do it. I literally think that uh, there's a problem with people who feel like they even have like a right to tell other people what to do with sure. their bodies. And I, I honestly feel like if everybody was more fixated on themselves <laughs> and less on what everybody else is doing, we'd be happier. Yeah. Um, and I also feel like if it's going to make you happier, if it's going to mean that you worry less about your appearance, absolutely go and do it. Because in this day and age, there is everything from every angle saying you should look like this, you could look like this, you want to look like this, if you like this you're going to be way happier and it, it's almost impossible to escape that and, and I, I, I feel sorry for women in a way because there's so much pressure put on how they should, could, would. I mean, it seemed, it seemed, sorry to interrupt, it's even blending out into gender. Uh, you know, it, it, that, that, that problem is now genderless. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, there, there's an association of aesthetic and what, what, what a good looking man is and what a good looking woman is. I suppose the idea is, 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 is understanding where this desire to be different comes from as well. Um, we are, like Clara just said, bombarded with all these ideas of what we should look like, even if, you know, to take it a bit more, to take it wider, what our jobs should be, you know, what we're good at from our parents, from teachers, from peers. It's, it's very difficult to often even know where this desire actually comes from. Yeah. And it does generally, like Clara said, originate from self, you know, super thing. I had my nose broken when I was a teenager and got it. I got, got a hit again recently, um, and I had an issue with it, and I got it just before I started filming Thrones. I was blessed enough, you know, to be get to get a, to get that opportunity, and it was an issue at first. And you know, at first I was thinking, well, maybe I'll get a nose job. But then, before me and Clara kind of spoke about it, you know, I kind of was kind of anti plastic surgery like, because my friend, if you take a knife to this face, but it's not I'm even about this. See you up. I love you. That's very sweet of you. But it's not even about that. I think before me and Clara had a talk about it, I even really consciously thought about it. Uh, I did kind of. I was kind of anti-plastic surgery. I, I thought it was a, a manifestation of of the world dictating how we should look to feel comfortable, to feel secure, to feel I powerful. Do, and I do think there's an element. One hundred percent, there's still that. But I think the best way but, we can understand it is to see both sides. Yes, absolutely. Be neutral. To absolutely. It. And I do think there's an element of that. But mainly, where my heart stands on mm. this is: do what the fuck you want sure. with your temporary sure. flesh vehicle spirit body prison thing. I, I feel like what this argument does, yeah, literally, <coughs> it introduces a weird paradox. We shouldn't be identifying too much with our bodies because that takes because you away from your real true. spiritual yeah. like existence, which is you are a point of consciousness experiencing itself through this vessel. But at the same time, I feel like you should, good. Yeah, you should celebrate it, you should enjoy how you look. I yeah. also feel like Putting makeup on and like doing these things is an act of self love and it's showing kindness towards yourself and it's celebrating this 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 
this vessel that you have been birthed into, sure. in a way. It is just a vessel. It is just a vehicle, like Clara calls herself. You know, that gets These us. These are from, our spirit vehicles. Yeah, and, and and if it's making you enjoy the journey more, it's like genuinely making you enjoy the journey more, then so be it. But it, yeah. but it's but it's you know, like Clara said, it, it shouldn't need any more value than does it serve me? Does it make me? Does it make me smile more? Does it make me feel more confident in my work environment, around my friends, whatever? If it serves that integral purpose, um, then then go for it. But just make sure you're not you're not being led down this road of expectation with social media and media generally and female magazines and male magazines and oh, movie films and TV <laughs> shows. Really I mean, can. ironic, I'm an actor, but you know the reality of it is is that they are always distorting this idea of what you need to be happy. There's a danger when you start getting things like Botox and you start getting things mm. like lip fillers mm. that you lose perspective. Yeah, things. And this is a point I think Clara's made before to me. It's like no one talks about the people that have had such subtle jobs that we don't even yeah, know. We're always yeah, sitting there. So going, many, there's so many so celebrities many who have had teeth, so, so much stuff sorry. done who you never know and sure. we don't know. And we don't bitch about. Or we're like, um, oh, and they don't get one. shit because it's subtle as mm. fuck. But the thing is, it's the people who, get, who have lost perspective and get so much yeah. that they don't often realise that they've had a lot done. I also think that, sorry to interrupt you, I think, no, I was saying like, um, with, with, with that, it, we have to remember that often some of these people like it's it's a, it's a physical manifestation of a psychological loss or yes. as an example let me just yes. say this is a hypothetical example let's say someone really struggles to confront their past accept the past accept what they were you know for a living as a person whatever people might have plastic surgery as a way of almost creating a mask for themselves because they struggle to confront what they were what they are i'm not going to tell you examples that. but i know examples of people that i know for a fact that's why they did that it's a we, like we need to understand that sometimes we, there is a rational explanation or irrational explanation that we're just not privy to. We're not that person and it's, yes. not, it's not always as simple as, I just want bigger laps. It's not necessarily <laughs> it's that. It's not necessarily that. It it's, can be a lot deeper and a lot darker and this is why, you know, I think it goes back to everything that you always say, Clara, which is like, try to find the empathy and don't expect to, to, to know the ins and outs of why. Yeah, um, and then so, just, stop, make it right. just stop telling Sorry. people what to do with yeah, their bodies. Sure. I really feel like women feel so repressed but so liberated at the same time and this creates such a confusing yeah. place for us to exist. Because in one way, if you do one thing, it's like shame. Oh, no, no. But yeah. Yeah. And the other one, I'm the champion and, first. Yeah, and the other one is like, woo! -hoo! The woman, she's so powerful, yeah! It's <laughs> I'm oh. just sitting in the face. <gasps> I'm my angel. Sorry. Little tipsies? Little tipsies? Oh, tiny little tipsies. Yeah. Little um, yeah. Um, go on, carry on. Go on. So yeah, at one point there's shame, and the other side, on the other side they champion. Yeah. Um, so it's very, very, very confusing to know which way is right. And when really we should just all be just championing a person if they, they look like they're comfortable in their skin. I've got a question for you actually, I was thinking while we were doing this. Go on, my How the bad side of this, as much as we want to be fair and neutral and look at both sides, my opinion on the bad side of this, uh, and I want you to tell me what you think and if you agree, is the byproduct, by proxy, what happens with all these ideas is kids, young kids, get into this whole idea of makeup and dressing a certain way and wearing these certain heels. I was talking, I was at, on set working on a, on a production at the moment, talking to a 10 year old, I think 10 or 11 year old girl, stupidly intelligent. She was telling, her, telling us how she had friends who, you know, who, who wear like, who wear like makeup at the age of 10. Nine. They have all Ten. these, yeah. They have all these handbag, these designer handbags, and they walk in with these slight platforms. And I get the whole thing of idolizing women, your peers, uh, sorry, Ten. your parents. But this is it's distorted. Fuck no, I was wearing wearing wheeled, you know, wee right. scooter shoes. And Ten, I had a pet imaginary dragon in my head. And flat. You know what I mean, he was just chilling with me on, on days off. <laughs> <laughs> like this is, it, and don't you think this this it almost. A, it rushes the speed of growing up, the, the process of growing up for children. Mm. And B, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's, kids aren't their brains. It we don't have the. the they're too still well. too ignorant and pure to, to, to understand it for what it is and not separate themselves from, from this whole adult warped thing we, we, we yeah. live by. And it's dangerous. That's distorting these young children's perspective of childhood and, and what the, all these things mean. I think it puts them way too high in the value system. Indeed, green bags. You agree? Indeed, I agree. Oh my god, I'm going to shut my mouth now because I answered a lot. Why don't you shut your mouth? I don't always talk too much. No, you never talk oh, much. Oh, I don't. Carry on. Um, so, yeah, I think my main point is just stop telling people what to do with their bodies. Yeah. In terms of women, I think women, sh I think, I, I, I feel like, oh yeah, okay, and I just want to give a shout out to Claire Nakdi, um, who has the most incredible astrology no. uh, YouTube channel. 
Um, we love her, don't we? we got some her. absolute like bars. Um, By bars, I mean like you've got a brain and you know how to use language, and like it's very, very insightful. Cosmetic, isn't it? Yeah, let me just check. I don't want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right. Um, Cosmetic astrology. Spelled C O S. Or on. So C O S M E T. I'll put. I'll, I'll, I'll write oh, it yeah, here. Of course, I forget. Anyway, so Claire basically is of the opinion that the female form is. I mean, and it is undeniably the most powerful tool that there is. Starts wars. It starts breaks wars, up businesses. Yeah. Friendships. Brothership. Brothers. Watch. Watch what falls out of a woman taking her clothes off. People are. It, it, look at the power that, that, that you know the, the woman, the female feminine figure, and the woman's body as a symbol is undeniably so powerful. Mm. And, and, just, and, and what's powerful about it is what is different from a man's body. And so it's that that is the boobs. <laughs> Such a and kid, I'm like, cool, easy way. <laughs> and that is what is. That's what is um, censored, yeah. that's what's covered up, yeah. that's what women are ashamed about, yeah. you know, having your nipples out. It's like, I mean, it's look at it objectively, look at it objectively, take away societal parameters. How mad is it just because a bit of extra flesh, Yeah. so warped, that, that, that all of a sudden go, a man can be topless in summer and the, the, the idea of a woman doing that is too much, it's too far. Um, and I get it, we're in a terrible place in society, everyone's hypersexualized. That's kind of always been my argument. It's not that I don't want you to have your tits out. Sure, you 100% should be able to have your boobies out, your mammaries out, get your mams out. But, um... <laughs> what I was saying was just about the fe females feeling like they have to sense themselves. Sense themselves. And that's, that's why I mentioned Claire and actually, I want you to go on her Instagram, check out this girl's posts. Her writing is flawless. Her photos are beautiful. She's so empowered sexually, mm -hmm. and I just, I, I, I really, I really admire her. Um, she is articulating something which I have really felt over the past yeah, in an few months. Way. In an amazing which way. is just women embodying their goddess spirit, expressing their sensuality, decorating their forms, really being in touch with their feminine, fe femininity. Femininity. For men. Well, for yes, their the man. right for their man, for, for their, their right man. man. And for like someone who is on that same path of champion, yes. championing the human form, uh, the male and female constant, and and and, and their, the the way they work in harmony and equilibrium, not just some random right. fuck boy. Yeah, I'm I'm all about people decorating their spirit vehicles. I'm all about people, you know, really just doing what the fuck they want. I mean, I don't know if this comes from throughout my childhood. I was. I mean, savagely, savagely bullied by my headmistress, and I was generally quite controlled or told Jealous. off. Or <laughs> I think she's more racist, darling. And I was, I was really always in trouble, always being controlled, always being, you know, someone trying to just basically like whip my spirit, and that has turned me into an adult version of Clara, who is very, very freedom loving. Because I've had one person, as you come, people will be like. That makeup you're wearing, or you know, that scarf you're wearing, or this that you're wearing, isn't that ego? First of all, I've never done the whole ego death talk. I'm not fully convinced that this whole ego death thing hasn't become slightly McDonald's spirituality yet. For, sure. For sure. And I almost think that your ego is not something that should be killed. I think it's something that needs to be understood and controlled and used. Ego is I. Think, I. Ego I think, is I. I think, I think if it's used properly, it is, is our great, it's our greatest tool. It's the mm. thing that allows us to, to identify ourselves and understand who we are and what we are in this kind of incarnation. Mm. I, I honestly feel like it's something which we need and to kill it just seems a little bit silly. I think it's more that you need, it needs to be your bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah I, I think it's this whole idea that you know, in, in the same way that nowadays this whole McDonald's wokeness and spirituality breeds this whole idea of like, life is perfect and I'm so happy and centered and I'm just so blessed. No, life is, no, life life is imperfect. Is like life you has are imperfect. peaks I'm and imperfect. troughs. Exactly. And in our good days, bad days. Perfect. And yeah, we find perfection in our imperfection and none of these things define us. Yeah. They refine us if, they, if we want them to. Nice, I love that. You know? I love that. Thanks. Yeah, nice. Okay, well, I think... Alright. Alright, alright. Awesome. Thank you very much for uh, uh, involving me in this. Yeah, oh, nice to meet you. Oh, oh. Thanks. Alright. 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 Okay, um, that was for me, my silly little idiot. We're gonna go now. Um, 
but we will speak to you soon. I'm going to bring it's you more because we need a best. Make sure you subscribe to best. this idiot. Because That's why I said yes, motherfucker, yes. I'm lucky enough to live with her, but you guys get her on these videos. So make sure you subscribe and do <laughs> likes and stuff because she only wants to make people happier and understand themselves. Yeah. Peace. I love you so, so much. So much love.